नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ इंडिया आयरलैंड फ्रेंडशिप लेक्चर सीरीज एंड फील्स प्रिविलेज टू इंट्रोड्यूस एंड वेलकम डॉक्टर अनवेसा महंता हु इज अ नेशनल अवार्ड विनिंग सत्रिया डांसर शी विल टुडे शेयर हर थॉट्स ऑन द टॉपिक फ्रॉम रीजनल टू ग्लोबल द काइनेस्टिक रीच ऑफ डांस टूवर्ड्स नेशन बिल्डिंग थ्रू द लेंसेज ऑफ सत्रिया ट्रेडिशन ऑफ आसाम Satriya is a dance form that is more than 500 years old and comes from the Vaishwanite monasteries of Assam which is situated in northeast India. Dr Anvesa is a scholar specializing in the field of satriya dance with premium solo concerts across several nations. She received accolades for her unique interpretations of the satriya dance keeping intact the core philosophy of the dance form. and its ritualistic practices this is not without any reason that the media national as well as international found her work impressive thrilling and superb one of the senior most disciples of the eminent master bayancharya ghanakanta bora she completed her doctoral study from university of delhi and served as a visiting artist in residence at iit guwahati a recipient of cwit fellowship of british council to pursue further research in queens university belfast she has several scholarly publications to her credit and has also conducted research on various aspects of intangible cultural heritage of assam with prestigious fellowships from sangeet natak academy and ministry of culture of indian government acclaimed as a star ambassador to represent her art form on a global stage she has been honored with the sangeet natak academy yuva puraskar for the year 2013 and 14 she has performed extensively across india as well as abroad gracing many prestigious dance festivals dr anvesa is an empaneled artist of iccr and is also the winner of several prestigious awards like aditya vikram birla kala kiran award guru kelu charan mohapatra yuva samman just to mention a few she is the artistic director of kalpa and pragya jyoti international dance festival and contributed immensely towards promotion of international understanding and social harmony through promotion of the arts She has also worked on collaborative research and archival recording with the University of Otago and Intec documenting work in the area of performance ethnography and community performances Before I invite Dr Anvesa to give her talk I would request his excellency the ambassador of India to kindly give his introductory remarks Namaskar thank you Hema ji uh, at the outset my uh, very warm greetings from Dublin Ireland to all uh, friends who are watching in Ireland and India uh, for the Indian embassy it's a very special uh, uh, privilege to welcome a very talented uh, multi dimensional artist like Dr Anvesha ji i have been a admirer of her uh, work her genius uh, since my days as uh, the actor general of ICCR Uh, and i find she is a very uh, extraordinary uh, artist in the sense that she is not only a very talented performer but also a profound thinker uh, and also an analyst cultural thought leader so uh, it is a great privilege for indian embassy to host her lecture uh, and this becomes even more important for us because of uh, our prime minister's uh, prime minister modi's a uh, vision of ek bharat shreshth bharat uh, and his a very singular focus on a greater connectivity uh, with the northeast part of india uh, i have been privileged to visit uh, almost all northeastern states and uh, assam particularly has been very dear to me so i i know the richness of uh, northeastern states but most of people in india um, and abroad are not so uh, familiar about it. so uh, we are trying our best uh, to uh, at the level of embassy to have a broader projection of india uh, not only the traditional art forms not only the tradition areas of india but also uh, 
full length and breadth and diversity of uh, India in culture, economic, uh, human development and innovation uh, in different sectors. Uh, 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 in that context, uh, uh, today's presentation is very uh, significant. Uh, and Anvesha ji, I'm very uh, happy to share with you that uh, we have a relatively small committee in Ireland uh, compared to many other countries like US or Canada or uh, UK, Australia. In Ireland, we have only about 60 to 70,000 strong in the diaspora, but we are very proud to have a quite vibrant uh, community from Assam as well. Uh, maybe around 100 families who are uh, 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 very uh, respected professionals in IT and pharma and medtech, uh, uh, and they are quite active on the cultural front as well. So I hope that uh, this program enables them to enjoy and get connected and inspires uh, many more regional uh, artists uh, from uh, outside Delhi and mainstream metropolitan hubs uh, to come and join and share their thoughts, their experiences, and in turn, uh, promote India-Ireland friendship at the grassroots level. I hope this uh, uh, program uh, becomes a catalyst for greater engagement between our two countries at the people's level at the level of artists. Thank you so much. All the very best. Namaskar to all the Rasikas and first and foremost, Namaskar to His Excellency, Indian Ambassador to Ireland, uh, Akhilesh Mishraji, Hemaji, who, with whom I have been coordinating for a long time. I have no words to express my sense of uh, gratitude for making me a part of this unique uh, curated series of India Island Friendship Series and Lecture Series and uh, the profound uh, thoughts which Sir had just mentioned. In fact, let this uh, series be a unique model for creating, for engaging India and many cross-border nations through which we can share more international understanding and mutual peace and social harmony. So once again, my heartfelt gratitude to all the team members for making me a part of this unique endeavor. In fact, as Sir had mentioned, this uh, uh, lecture series itself is a part of my topic, which I have been talking about, which focuses on cultural diplomacy. And uh, so I really feel honored. And within my humble understanding, I'll try to share my thoughts on the topic, which I have chosen as from regional to global, the kinesthetic reach of dance towards nation building, through the lens of Satriya dance tradition of Assam. I request the tech team to kindly start my PowerPoint presentation. So uh, let me begin uh, today's talk with understanding nation building. Uh, just a usual reference of nation building brings to our mind a construct of concepts and processes embracing ideological, political, institutional, intellectual, social discourses centering around the nation and nationhood. Can I have the next slide, please? Uh, while members of state or the ones in power in political terrain, military forces, industrial growth, developmental infrastructure, diplomatic relations, come under immediate purview, an understanding of the actions and movements of mind, perspectives of everyday experiences too, play an influential role in bringing changes in inspiring lives, in igniting minds of the citizens that holistically contribute in the processes of nation building. With this cognitive discourse of mind, movement, through an embodied approach, I would like to focus on the kinesthetic reach of dance in its process of nation building. Next slide, please. A cursory glance at global marketplace, which draws attention to the commoner, a tourist in commonplace, is always towards the taste, feel, smell, a sense, and experience of the region which is often framed as USP, ranging from cuisine, crafts, literature, arts, monuments, dance, music, 
paintings, the list is endless, that has created a culture industry, a term coined by Adorno and Hockema, of its own representing nation's cultural identity. We select such elements of material culture of our choice with a sense of connect, of desire and familiarity. While these elements form aspects of one's cultural identity, which as term itself is a construct of multi-layered processes of culture, social, cultural, political aspects. But any aspect of culture, be it in tangible or intangible form, never fails to touch deep inside through an emotional connect. Thus, this connect itself is a connect between the regional and global, or in other words, culture industry builds a mobility and bridges the regional global relations. Thus, every culture and its knowledge system can teach us about ourselves and at the same time about we as part of global community too. Let us take an instance of the bulk of books that are aesthetically arranged in the airports of India with the versions and interpretations of the Ramayana, the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, to name very few as best-selling books in the category of West of India. While the book becomes the first representative icon here, readings have influenced many minds. The books associating and bridging tangible and intangible moments through this sense of connect. Next slide, please. With no further generalized observations on this, let me come to, my, to the area of dance practice in India, more specifically traditional Indian dance forms and its rigorous methodological practice and discipline that have been rooted deep with philosophical, religious and spiritual insight through the centuries. Peeping through the lens of history, we often see that Indian dance has garnered a huge audience of its own in terms of its wide reception, appreciation, and communication, which further channels of cultural diplomacy and international understanding of harmony, peace, and goodwill. The large number of students across the world learning and representing the cultural ethos of many regional arts of India as a representation of the nation itself can be cited as a reference here. My next section in this uh, lecture is Satriya dance and nationhood. I would like to begin this particular section with a very uh, thoughtful quote by the saint poet Srimanta Hongkordeb uh, uh, in his writings as he, within through which he had integrated uh, the minds of the people with a sense of national consciousness. And to quote from his Bhakti Ratnakar, he says, Aho Amisham Kimakari Shobanam Prasanna Esham Swidot Swayam Hari Yojanma Labdham Rishu Bharatajire Mukunda Sevo Paikam Spriha hi na. Satriya dance, uh, uh, evolving from the range of artistic traditions of Satriya arts itself, evolved as expressive voices of bhakti movement in Assam, as led by visionary saint, poet, thinker, dramatist, philosopher, and social reformer, Srimanta Hongkordeb, as has lived on with the changes of time and space since its emergence in 15th century. From its revolutionary beginning, creating a new epoch in the cultural, uh, social and cultural history in Assam, the Satriya arts, music, dance and theater in particular have been embodied as a social rite and ritual and gradually evolving as markers of cultural identity of the region and the nation. The embodied cognition of this new trajectory of thoughts pioneered by Srimanta Hongkordeb and his apostles contributed towards a construct of a new cultural space, 
that shared the ethos of larger consciousness of bhakti, where it moved on from the individual acceptance to a larger social identity. This shared space of bhakti was a co-creation of a rasa sudha, transpiring from spiritual Vedantic discourses, meeting the ethnographic voices of uh, Assam region and vice versa. This convergence with social ethos of Assam, then embracing the borders of Assama, Kamarupa, and Koch Bihar, efflorescent during the period of bhakti movement in Assam with its unique polyphonic voices, embracing cultural distinctiveness and social significances of its own. Many of the literary writings of Sramanta Hankardev and his principal apostle, Sri Sri Madhavdev, in its melodic notes and uh, scriptural readings, which form a foundation of bhakti philosophy emerging during the period, resound in abundance the sense of social cohesiveness amidst diversity, a sense of belonging to the land and its multiplicity by bridging minds together as a celebrated enlightened bodies of Vichitra Bharata Varsha. The idea of belonging to the nation of Bharat Varsha through a call of spiritual embodiment communicated a sense of nationhood as a wholesome experience of life and living. The Satriya dance form emerging from this wake of bhakti movement as, as a call of social harmony in a period of social unrest uh, through arts with the spiritual intent itself is one of the greatest living testimonies of soft power of arts that can bring in change and development in the society. Bhakti here stood as a social, a socio-cultural space with involvement of the bodies in spiritual intent as their own individual parts, but merging together in the philosophical cosmology of bhakti. This also reminds one of the famous statements of Swami Vivekananda, who observed spirituality as a point of union uh, for all religious forces embedded in a national fervor in a country like India that enfolds diverse cultures. Likewise, Swami Aravinda Ghosh and Mahatma Gandhi too remarked religion and spirituality in the veins of Indian philosophical strength in a nationalistic fervor and worked for India's unification and awakening through the thoughts of Swaraj and Swadeshi. Now coming back to our uh, to Satya tradition itself, from the ritualistic art form that endured as a social entity of Asmi's life, it is interesting to see how the art form got recognition as one of the prides of the region's cultural heritage during the wake of freedom movement emphasized in many of the nationalist writings of the freedom movement in Assam. Literary luminaries like Lokminat Besborwa and his contemporaries upheld the holistic contributions of Concordia as sites of Asmus heritage and nationalism. Furthermore, with the recent enlistment in the year 2000 of Satriya dance form as one of the national cultural markers of the country, the dance tradition has undergone changes from its ritualistic hours and its gradual construct as a cultural component of Indian nationalism. And in this quote, I'd like to, uh, uh, and in, uh, in this section here itself, I'd like to request the team to kindly play the first video, Dhanya Dhanya Bharata Varshe, uh, and share with our friends who are watching regarding this aspect which I have been talking about.
So that was a snippet from the uh, composition Dhanya Dhanya Bharata Borihe. I would now like to move on to my next section, Movements of Body and Movements of Mind. E monora kalpana itu homosta jagata. Ase mono homosta pranira hidayata. This is a very famous quote from St. Paul Srimanta Hankardeva's work and in Anadi Patan. And this itself, the, the meaning of this statement is the world is a construct of your mind, and each creature holds a mind that leads to the construct of the world. The statement itself leads us to the uncharted paradigm of space existing uh, within our body and bodies making a cobweb of interrelation and coexistence. Dance being one of the powerful mediums of audiovisual narrative celebrates the body in its expansive space of outreach thereby connecting more bodies and minds towards its expressive narrative. While in the above section, the body and the philosophical insight deeply imbued in the art form was hinted, I would also like to say that even without any introductory note of the dance form, the message intended through the, uh, the, message intended through the performance is uh, channelized to the audience. I'd like to cite an example here. Uh, when I was first invited to Malaysia for a performance, my initial inhibition did intervene my consciousness regarding the communication of the form, since the language that we use in Hotria is mostly Sanskrit uh, and um, Rajavali and Assamese, but only to be reassured regarding the conviction of the form that it speaks on its own. This also brings us to a dual understanding of the dance, sharing on the one hand a strong regional identity and celebrating the cultural ethos of the land. And at the same time, with its sheer artistry and narrativity, it has a universal appeal. For instance, the, lover for, uh, the love for a mother, for a child, a dialogue between lovers, a dialogue between friends, to least few sequences, reach the hearts of the mind as universal emotions. The mythological narratives that we share also serve as symbolic representation, attending a social philosophical message, thereby drawing a bridge of regional voice reaching out to a global community. Next slide, please. The Rasas, moods and sentiments deeply embedded in the narrativity in its communication, body reflection, meditated movements and aesthetics become a powerful confluence point of sharing of emotions between the participants and the spectator. Can I have the next slide, please? Yes. Though the methodological discipline of body and techniques vary in each discipline of diverse traditional dance forms, here again, the angika, the body movements, become a gateway through sp deeper spiritual insight for many enthusiasts. The histrionic artistry, costume, music, body movements leave a holistic impact of the form, which brings in an impression of the land to which the art form belongs. To support this dual understanding of the regional to the global, I would like to share feedbacks shared um, in, published in the press. Next slide, please. So in this slide itself, you would see two uh, feedbacks, uh, in fact, reviews after the performance of the Dry East Festival in 2020 and Asia Society Hong Kong. Now, uh, though it might sound narcissistic, but from an objective point of view, 
The above comments share a dialogue of moments and movements, communicating bodies and mind, expressive of the performative artistry inherent in a narrative, dance narrative. A spectator would witness the dance form, the heritage of the dance tradition from the dancer, who after years of dedicated learning and practice embodies the dance form as an organic expression of his or her voice belonging to a region and the nation for that matter. Next slide. And to quote from my own work, Shunya, my deha is a nirantara riksha that expands with branches of new thoughts and my art. And in this spinning of Leela, I, become a Purna Kumbha. The world of Nirakar ceaselessly forming Akars in its Panda of Brahman now resides in my mind. Next slide. One form, multiple bodies. I would like to begin this section with a question. How does an art form or a dance share its sense of belonging? Does an art form dance or I mean dance form have to pronounce a nationalist discourse to portray its sense of belonging to the land and its people? It must be mentioned that dance with an embodied approach, be it in a traditional context or even a contemporary form, always tends to share a voice of the land, a reflection upon the meditative thoughts which the practitioner perceives in the surrounding. In traditional dance forms, while the cultural legacy is transferred to the next generation as a priceless treasure of the intangible cultural heritage, the dance itself becomes a larger converging space, a cultural space of multiple expressive forms and bodies that go on in the representation of the art form. The training in dance involves a sensory experience of embodying a new cultural narrative through movements with an active participation of the body and the mind. The rehearsed actions of the body become so much a part of the sense experience, much like touch and feel experience. Next slide. Right from the preliminary step of Bhumi Pranam, or Khosaka and vocabularies of Matiya Khara in Satriya dance, a connect of the body, dancing body, to the bhumi, land, is established along with celebrating an organic bond of Adhyapak, the teacher, and Shishya, the disciple. These lessons groom a learner not only towards the technique or the basic of the dance form, but introduces one to a value-based education system connecting the body, mind, and the surrounding that helps in personality development, spiritual development, and prepares one towards a responsible citizen. I would also like to cite a case study from my personal archives as an artist in residence in IIT Guwahati at Center for Creativity. Here the dance trainees were asked to integrate their lessons of dance with their academic research which inspired the young scholars to bridge dance and science, dance and technology, dance and engineering. While the endeavor was acclaimed as a path-breaking step, the intention behind was to create a larger worldview of life and learning through experiential knowledge of body in relation to the surrounding. Further, the body exposits a powerful medium of uh, knowledge where the sense of contact happens to the thinking body and mind too. Be it in referring to the philosophical inheritance of the form drawn from the canonical texts like Vedas and Puranas with rigorous methodological disciplines as per the treatises like the Natya Shastra, Sangeeta Ratnakara, Abhinaya Darpan, to name a few, uh, the dance form further celebrates its intertextuality in weaving its units of aharya, music, literary texts, and so on. Thus, each performing body has a different visual narrative pertaining to the context and the body of the dance form and situation. 
the costume or the jewelry prepared within different special temporal frames brings in the narrative content of the weaver and the designer. To view this apart from the context of dance, the woven design would just be a cultural commodity or an artifact. But once the dancer weaves in these units as an organic part of uh, her presentation, his or her presentation, the commoditized socio-cultural artifact or the object becomes embodied into the absorption of aharya of the dancing body, interrelating the tangible and the intangible. Next slide. But in its representation of the dance form, what we perceive is the satriya form in its macrocosmic whole, sharing multiple regional beauties with an intent of larger representation of a form and its belonging. In fact, our nation in celebrating its glorious history of 75 years have been in multiple ways celebrating the legacy of a uh, great civilization and heritage through diverse cultural productions as part of Ajadi Kamrit Mahotsav uh, and has been attempting to showcase these multiple expressive forms as varied markers of cultural identity of the nation. Here, each expressive form become an emblematic mark of the region as micro units in signifying the diverse cultural legacies of a nation like India. Coming almost towards uh, my, uh, my uh, 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 towards the concluding part of my lecture, uh, my concluding part is regional to global, bhakti in its communication and signification through Satriya dance. In a global context, an art form with its intertextual units holds an impression of the land and shares a sense of belonging. But in its celebration of this cultural signifier, how does the kinesthetic formulations of such visual narrative leave a message of international understanding and bonhomie? As Srimanta Hongkordev, who is always addressed as a Parama Guru in Hot of Hotria tradition, he mentions in his text, Itu hori one komohima. This body holds uncharted possibilities. This philosophical insight shapes the perceptive worldview of a practitioner as expressed in the body and mind and holds its inclusive potential of global connect. Bhakti in Satriya tradition from its root word bhaj unfolds participatory engagement through distribution, sharing and allowing one to cultivate thoughts through jnana knowledge and karma actions with an experiential disposition. This experiential phenomenon from a subjective whole in body and mind in perceptive world, a perceptive worldview shares a deeper belonging to a global community. Hence the expressive forms further uh, their emblematic representations of national marker with a universal reach of humanity, compassion, peace and harmony that form as essentials in the nation building and growth. Many prestigious cultural organizations have addressed this cause using dance as a powerful voice of cultural diplomacy and contributed towards mutual understanding. From my personal experiences and memories of ASEAN Artist Camp organized by Seher World Dance Alliance, PICMAC A, in collaboration with many overseas universities, Navatman, British Council, Nartaki, Free Foundation, and my own organization also, Kalpa, to mention few from the huge list, apart from the government and state agencies like uh, ICCR, Ministry of Culture, uh, Ministry of External Affairs, have worked immensely towards the promotion of international understanding and exchange, peace and harmony. From my personal association, I'd also like to cite two video examples documented during the pandemic. Uh, the first video, in fact, next slide. The first video, in fact, uh, was ca uh, capture, tries to capture the global reach of the body and mind boxed in their own spaces through a message of reaching out. 
engaged in multiple forms of dialogue of dance forms. Uh, here, through this video, one shares a sense of belonging to a cause of situation with a message of international understanding and well-being. I request the tech, tech team to kindly play the second video. Poetry written in the time of Corona. This one is for Anvesa and the Prague Jyoti International Dance Festival Dancers, a collaboration with Cree Foundation. Which fork we take? Life is a journey on a twisted road. Which we walk, carrying both hope and load. Which fork we take decides what is in store? Which is the road that is traveled more? Where it bifurcates, no one will know. But every turn gives a chance to grow. When caught unaware, we have a choice of freezing, fleeing, or fighting, finding a voice. As recognized artists, unique is our capacity. Repositories we are of unbridled creativity. The decision we make is of the possibility. Do we use our skills for self or for humanity? Lockdown, quarantine and physical distancing has shown the world we knew to be receding. Aware of our good fortune, privilege and gifts. We need our talent to create a world without rifts. The arts alone can build a bridge, calm the mind, ease the hurt, light a lamp, make hope surge so we must do it ourselves and to you we urge to do for another daily unfailingly something kind something kind something kind So this was the video which was done, recorded during the pandemic period. And now I would like to request this to play the technique, the second video, which tries to represent a narrative of the dance and the dancer, where the latter tries out to reach to a message of peace and compassion through the dance form. A snippet of Sakihe and Imobia. Namaskar, I'm Dr. Alvesa Mahanta and we are presenting before you Sakihe and Movia. A companionship that fills our heart and consents to stream out our inmost thoughts unwaveringly is a Sakhi. In this strange yet so familiar world, everyone is so close yet so far away. 
then who is a Sakhi? And in his absence, I feel his presence. a story of the past, this dancing body reveals and explores many contemporary lanes traveling across spaces that engulf a never imagined scape of a familiar presence and compassion to my surroundings. to wind up, a practitioner through her art form becomes in due course a living repository of knowledge, imbibing the intangible cultural heritage which evolves and grows in shaping up an individualistic worldview. Thus, the representation emerging from the original voice holds immense potential in becoming a global representation of the form, and most importantly, as an ambassador of the nation, communicating a global message through a form in its sense of belonging. The social role of the dance and a dancer is foregrounded here, where the art form in its voice of roots and rootedness also celebrates the transformative power of change, development, and a global message of peace and harmony. Thank you. Akan Vesaji, it was a, such a memorable, mesmerizing, captivating uh, performance. Uh, I, and I was so delighted to see your multimedia expertise. You are not only, you are a great dancer, uh, performer, but also you are a wonderful communicator. And uh, the, uh, the high-tech communication skills that you have developed is really inspiring. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. Absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. And also uh, the way you you brought in the philosophical aspect of India in the dance, uh, conception of Indian dance itself. As you know, uh, a, a very unique distinctive feature of Indian thought process itself is that uh, uh, we, we think creation in terms of a holistic integrated network, a web. Uh, and and uh, the concept of uh, Satchit Ananda Rupa divinity pervading everything. And the dance itself uh, is not merely uh, acrobatics or gymnastics or just uh, aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing movement of the body, but it's an expression of deep philosophical thoughts, vision and Indian worldview. And uh, I was so happy to see uh, your expertise, not only on in Indian philosophy, but also in Indian literature uh, is really remarkable. Uh, and Natya itself, uh, as Natya Shastra Bharat Kuni very proudly proclaims that uh, there is no wisdom, there is no learning, there is no craft, there is no art, there is no action, uh, which is uh, unimportant and not uh, included in Natya Shastra. Uh, na tat gyanam, na tat shilpam, na sa vidya, na sa kala, na sa yoga, na tat karma, na tiesmin yan na drishyate. Uh, it is the, the Indian dance is unique because it includes all aspects of human thought, human activity, human creativity. And you are a great ambassador of uh, Indian uh, culture, Indian philosophy, Indian literature. So on behalf of Indian Embassy, we are very appreciative of your sparing time for us. Uh, and also we look forward to working together with you uh, in future as well. Like one Thank idea you. and I have been exploring is uh, uh, 
using a similar platform to uh, to have a literary exchange for example oh. your like uh, interest in literature if you can help uh, organize and sure. as me as poetry uh, uh, round table kind of thing definitely um, where, where you can help us uh, bring together on a virtual platform of 5 6 10 or 15 poets whom you think from assam uh, and they can share your share their poems in assamese language with some interpretation either hindi or english right right uh, so that, that will be something very unique and very enriching for the indian community here and also for our irish friends who are uh, uh, interested in indian uh, culture and literature not just the metropolitan areas but also other extremely rich parts of uh, india so thoughtful and and i was in fact i would also like to mention to all my audience you are such a far sighted uh, cultural visionary and your endeavors itself speak so much in fact i do remember our first when you during your iccr uh, times as director general the conversation itself was so inspiring sir uh, which also gives artists like us a direction to move ahead with new thoughts uh, through our art form through our, because hum to karte rehte hain you know our productions but always you know such far sighted uh, vision also help us to think and rethink reinterpret our work so once again my sincere thanks to you for entrusting this responsibility and i really felt felt honored to be a part of this special curated series because it's a very unique effort absolutely <laughs> and of course i would love to whatever within my humble understanding i would love to uh, share if this comes up uh, in fact love to be a part of this project also which you had just mentioned Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Thank My you so much. My greetings and good wishes and blessings to you and your uh, artist friends in Assam. I have extremely fond memories of all my visits to Assam, and uh, I look forward to visiting again sometime. Yes, please, sir. Once thank again, you. sincere thanks to all the team members of um, uh, Indian Embassy in uh, Ireland.